crustiest, the gates are the rustiest, the bars are the crustiest, the songs the lustiest, the friends the trustiest, way back home. Broadway musicals. Broadway musicals refer to any musical created in Broadway. When we say Broadway, we often refer to the Broadway theater which is compromised of 41 professional theaters located in the theater district in Lincoln Center. But what is a musical? And what is the difference between a musical and an opera? A musical is a play in which the actors sing. An opera, on the other hand, is an art form in which there are no actors. Instead, there are singers and musicians who convey the plot through music. We can say that in the United States, the musicals truly began after the Civil War, with work such as The Black Crook, and within the next few decades, the theater scene grew very quickly, often doing works by other musicians and creating new ones, with rising stars such as Guy Bolton and Victor Herbert. Rapid development of the theater scene continued during the Roaring Twenties, and especially musical theater had practically been merged with vaudeville an art which strived to mix every level of the performing arts to create an impressive conglomerate for entertainment. In doing this, musical theater put less of an emphasis on plot and more of an emphasis on music and story. Though, when the film industry appeared, vaudeville had entirely died out, and the plot was once again put back into focus. In addition to regular musicals or other kinds of musicals that are well known, Rock operas like Jesus Christ Superstar appeared and jukebox musicals like West Side Story. The first major musical to be composed, which was actually extremely popular, was Oklahoma in 1943. Oklahoma was one of the most significant performances out there because it had over 2,000 performances when it was first made and it's still popular to this day. It's the first blockbuster musical. Following Oklahoma, other various um, works were made, which include, but are not limited to, Guys and Dolls, Singing in the Rain, An American in Paris, The Sound of Music, My Fair Lady, West Side Story, and many more. The golden age of Broadway continued from the 50s all the way into the 80s, with a decline in the mid-80s. Musical film likewise developed, with some very important names in musicals and musical film such as Audrey Hepburn, very well known for Funny Face and My Fair Lady, and Judy Garland. This musical was known as For Me and My Gal. Following this, in the 70s and 80s, very important and talented names. They include Andrew Lloyd Webber, who was a very famous composer because he wrote The Phantom of the Opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, and Cats, as well as Stephen Sondheim, who wrote A Little Night Music, Into the Woods, and West Side Story. Very, ma very many famous actors and actresses appeared in this time as well. They include Dorothy Ludden, Julie Andrews, Bernadette Peters, Patti Lapone, Sutton Foster, and Kristen Chenoweth. Sondheim's works are notorious for being both incredibly grim and dark in their storyline and incredibly difficult to sing. In fact, his musicals are considered some of the most difficult to sing and is considered a very important and prestigious thing to be able to actually perform them. Andrew Lloyd Webber has amazing stories which are iconic and very famous and to this day resonate through us. There are also many famous critics that appear at the time. One of the most significant ones who is prominent to this day is Seth Rudetsky. During the 90s, the theater industry, including Broadway, saw a decline of profit and popularity. After the big boom in the history of musicals that lasted all the way until the 40s, the world of musicals has since been moving in a downwards direction. The main reason for this are other, more modern entertainment and art forms such as film and TV shows. This trend continued to the modern times. Despite the decline in popularity, the quality and talent of the creators and performers was still going strong. People still managed to have successful careers and express their talent and hard work. In addition to the persons who made a name for themselves even earlier in the 80s, new ones such as Laura Osnell and Indina Menzel also popped up. Another event that marked the history of Broadway in this period was the founding of Disney Theatrical Production Limited, also known as Disney on Broadway. 
Founded in 1993 by longtime Disney Entertainment veteran Ron Logan, the division of the Walt Disney Company has gained a reputation within the industry for creating professional and popular performances. These include the animation adaptations such as Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Tarzan, The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, and the upcoming Frozen Pinocchio and The Jungle Book but also a number of live-action adaptations such as Mary Poppins, High School Musical, and Camp Rock. Disney and Broadway were not the only ones who made adaptations, since the 90s and 2000s were quite famous for this. Famous film-to-musical adaptations include The Producers, Billy Elliot, Passion, Mamma Mia, Wicked, and the already mentioned Lion King. There were quite a few examples of book-to-musical adaptations too. Other forms of musicals also gained popularity during this period. One of these forms was the rock opera, which was a musical based off of modern rock music, one of the most famous being Jesus Christ Superstar. Jukebox musicals used previously released popular songs as its musical score. The famous group ABBA and the musical Mamma Mia is a perfect example of this form. Broadway musicals have always been a demanding challenge toward the Broadway theater district. Now, however, the Broadway musical is an even greater challenge. The cost to produce a Broadway musical is that 10 times higher of what it was in the 1950s and 60s. It has also become more challenging in terms of vocals and stylism. It can take up to four years for a Broadway musical to turn a profit. The Lion King cost 20 million to make, and only after 20 years did it actually make a profit. However, the Broadway musical has also become one of the most profitable art forms. Works such as Cats, Les Miserables, The Phantom of the Opera, and Miss Saigon have run on Broadway for more than 62 years total, and internationally have made more money than Star Wars. Raiders of the Lost Ark, Jurassic Park, and Titanic put together. However, there are other influences on modern Broadway as well. The Broadway musical today is also not only influenced by the economic factors, but it is also influenced by the great trend in diversity, as well as civil rights movements. Broadway has always been a staple for a more progressive attitude towards civil rights including the civil rights movement, now even the LGBT movement, it has always been a place where people have been accepted no matter of their color. And with the great uh, interconnectedness and globalization today, Broadway is one of the most diverse places in the world. In fact, the first musical, which had no Caucasian actors, came out in 2016 known as Hamilton which talks about Alexander Hamilton, who was a founding forefather of the United States. It's a biography, meaning that it talks about the life of Alexander Hamilton, from the beginning till the very end when he died in his bed. How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman, Dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence, impoverished and squalor. Grow up to be a hero and a scholar. The ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder, by being a lot smarter, by being a self starter by 14. They placed him in charge of a trading charter. And every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away Across the waves he struggled and kept his guard up Inside he was longing for something to be a part of The brother was ready to beg, steal, borrow
Intruding and new 